we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh the good times just begun Life is so fragile, and our stay here may seem too short, but it is what we have. When we're young, we rarely know much of loss. We feel immortal, and can't or refuse to imagine the possibility that what and who we love can be lost. Maybe we're just too consumed with enjoying the wonders of this thing we call life. Shelley and I as well as many of our friends, worked in fields where loss was pretty much a daily occurrence. To see the anguish, heartache, disbelief can be a heavy load for one to bear. We've watched and tried to console them through the five stages of grief, from denial to anger, bargaining, depression, and then eventually acceptance. When it happens, and it will to all of us, it's hard to believe that anyone can understand. I can't begin to explain the number of souls that I've worked as hard as I could with the best technology available to prevent from slipping to the other side. But in the end, I've known that stay or go was ultimately not my decision despite my best efforts. But still, I tried with all I had. My only solace is believing that no matter how hard we try, when it's our time, we will go. Now it may be scratching and clawing, but it will eventually happen to all of us. So what else have I learned? Well, I've said it before, and I truly hope you take this to heart. Never go to bed angry. Never wake up mad. Never not say goodbye, and I love you, to those special souls in your life. Love deeply and live your life to the fullest. Realize that there is nothing more important than those who have touched your lives with love, kindness, grace, and happiness. Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Today started like all have on our journey, filled with hope and awe, and a chance for another adventure in a wondrous place about as different from anything we were used to. We rarely see this much water in the desert. We are having the times of our lives. Even our Princess Ellie seemed to be enjoying the new smells and sensations. Shelley doting over her as if she were a human, Ellie enjoying the attention as always the cooling moist towels, frequent drink breaks, and pee pads if needed. She is sixteen and a half years and is our companion. Strike that. She's a family member. Where's that? It's a GoPro. Huh? Uh -huh. It's a little GoPro camera.
I filmed, Shelly caught one small catfish, which we threw back. Everyone else caught their share, and her dad had the record with ten, two of which were keepers. We also got a glimpse of two large gators, who watched with interest. Early in the afternoon, we headed back to the dock, then home, to rest up, as Chad, his dad, and I were going to work on getting a 7000 KW genset ready to install in the RV. We were all tired and went to bed a little early, Ellie right between the two of us as always. In a few hours after midnight, our world would change again. No one is ever ready. Tonight, our little girl would pass. Tonight, our hearts would cry. Please hold close those you love, for we never know what tomorrow will bring.
Princess, tell Willie how much I miss you both. I'll see you again someday. Thank you.